almost immediately following the events of the Holiday Bash event in Apex Season 3, Respawn announced there'd be yet another event for players to enjoy starting January 14th and ending on the 28th. There's a lot happening for this new event that the community seems really excited for, but there are also several concerns that players have been voicing for a few weeks now. Before diving into community feedback for the state of Apex, here's a rough look at the new event. The upcoming Grand Soiree arcade event features shiny formal skins and seven new rotating limited time game modes. These modes will change every two days, starting with Gold Rush Duos, which is duos only with gold weapons, Live, Die, Live, Respawn on living teammates every time the ring closes, Third Person Mode, which is exactly what it sounds like, Always Be Closing, a constantly moving ring, Armed and Dangerous on World's Edge, which is the previously returning mode, Shotguns and Snipers Only, King's Canyon After Dark, which brings back the Night Map from the Halloween event, and Dummy's Big Day, which we're not really sure what that entails, but who knows, you'll have to play to find out for yourself. There will be event-specific challenges that players can complete. The Grand Soiree event is implementing a new prize track system to help players earn more rewards through completing these challenges. If you look at the track, it almost looks like a mini battle pass progression system. Respawn notes that every limited time mode will have three challenges worth a total of a thousand points, and players won't have to play every day in order to collect all the rewards, especially since the limited time modes rotate every two days. There's also the direct purchase shop for event items, as with previous events and six new legendary skins that will be added to the loot pool. Including seven new modes is incredibly different from what Respawn has done before, and players are speculating this might be early testing for Apex Season 4's content. Season 3 has been announced to end around February 3rd, and the community has been curious to what might come next. Players have been hoping for some kind of permanent game modes, like solos and duos. Fortnite has a model of having standard game modes from solos to squads of four, then constantly rotating limited time modes that players can choose from. While seven game modes dropping with just one event helps keep Apex feeling fun and fresh, a little more consistent variety might keep players interested in checking in more often. However, Gameplay variety really isn't the biggest part that needs more urgent tuning. Ever since Apex implemented skill-based matchmaking in unranked modes, players have been enjoying games less and less. People have been voicing their opinions and even having daily discussions on matchmaking on massive discussion threads on Reddit. What should be casual matches turn into slightly more frustrating games, as players are often mismatched in lobbies. Skill-based matchmaking was originally applied to help beginner players feel less outnumbered and vulnerable when trying out the game. In theory, this is a really good move for Apex to take to encourage new people to join the player population. The problem is that matching people with similar skills against each other feels close to how ranked matches are, only people don't take casual very seriously, thus making the experience frustrating, especially when teammates leave in the middle of matches. I know skill-based matchmaking was intended to even out the playing field and keep things feeling fair, but recently my casual matches feel just as competitive as ranked matches and I've had to deal with teammates leaving the game as soon as they get down, which is really frustrating. Also, if a silver player wants to group up with a friend who seems to be a much higher rank, let's say Apex Predator, they might find themselves in what feels like not-so-casual matches against much higher level players. The sentiment that unranked matches feel closer or even more difficult than ranked matches has been a resounding one, especially since players have been finding that matchmaking times with searching for ranked lobbies has been taking longer and longer. Another issue or bug that's been exploited recently is something called dashboarding, when players leave a ranked match before losing RP by force closing the game. These players can then jump back into ranked queue without any consequences. This unfairly lets people cheat and climb up the ranks and throws off the gameplay balance even more. Eric Hewitt, senior systems designer for Apex, stated that there would be a judgment day for those using this exploit and that a more immediate punishment would be implemented in the future. But there hasn't been an official update yet on how or when these changes to the system would be rolled out. <laughs> But I really want to know how you feel about Apex right now. How do you like skill-based matchmaking? What penalty do you think people who dashboard should receive in the future? Which one of these seven modes are you most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments below, and for more Apex news, stay here at IGN.